All right, back to the matter of money. Lolly. Uh, Paul Lynn, please. Say, Paul, uh, when is it a good idea to put your pantyhose in the microwave oven for about two minutes? <laughs> when your house is surrounded by the police. <laughs> Studies at the University of Wisconsin show that you'll probably live longer if you love only one man or woman at a time. But it is all right to alternate. <laughs> <laughs> Does Mark Spitz believe swimming in the nude helps you go faster? Well, it's easier to stare. <laughs> 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 According to the World Book, what's the main thing we get from Honduras? You got it too. <laughs> <laughs> According to the new book of knowledge, the most important use of leather is for what? To hold animals together. <laughs> <laughs> Paul in. Paul, true or false, women smokers in Uganda traditionally put the lit end of the cigarette into their mouths. Don't tell me what they do with their chewing gum. <laughs> well, I have to take Paul in on one. All right. According to the Constitution, Paul, what's the proper term for our form of government? At the moment... <laughs> Shaky. <laughs> or will you accept? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> marriage kills love. Marriage kills love. And love kills what? 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> A man falls out of your boat and into the water, you should yell, man overboard. Now, what should you yell if a woman falls overboard? Full speed ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Historians say that King Henry VIII had Anne Boleyn beheaded because she couldn't do one particular thing. What? <laughs> Convince Henry VIII he was Henry the I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. A friend of yours offers you to give you something called a French 75. What is that? A French 75. Just a minute, that's 25 more than it was the last time. <laughs> uh, pride, anger, covetousness, I can never say that, lust, gluttony, envy, and sloth are collectively known as what? Oh, the Bill of Rights. <laughs> In what state was Abraham Lincoln born? In what state? Mm -hmm. well, like all of us, naked and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> How many men on a hockey team? About half. Paul Lynn, the clock, please. Right in the center, Paul Lynn. In The Wizard of Oz, in The Wizard of Oz, what was it that Dorothy had to do to get back to Kansas? I'm trying to remember what the tin man wanted. <laughs> <laughs> um... What did she have to do? To get back to Kansas. Dorothy. Mm. She had to go to the wizard. Go to the wizard. I agree. No. She had to click her uh, little slippers three times. She had to click these slippers. Now, let me explain something to Matt. Paul is not the secret square. It is worth uh, a lot of cash. That trip and everything. How are you going to play? Paul in. All righty. For $250, Paul has a cat ever been known to survive a fall of 19 stories? 
Yes, so he had to be thrown off again. <laughs> uh, the Tin Man wanted a heart and the Lion wanted courage. What did the Straw Man want? He wanted the Tin Man to notice him. <laughs> dollars, according to the Bible, King David was not allowed to build the temple because he sinned. What wasn't Moses allowed to do because of his sin? Uh, build a shopping center near the temple. <laughs> according to a guide to contemporary living, it's always the best gift for a nun. What is always the best gift for a nun? Carton of cigarettes. <laughs> uh, Carton of cigarettes? <laughs> I was raised by nuns. They know I'm just being silly. <laughs> True or false? Nylon is stronger than steel. But steel panties don't turn me on. <laughs> ah! Is it especially difficult? to train an ostrich to become a sheepdog. <laughs> yes, they can't lift their leg without tipping over. <laughs> uh, Is there anything on earth that can flap its wings faster than a hummingbird? <laughs> How about an owl in a forest fire? <laughs> Lynn, please. Paul, at what famous place in America will you find couples strolling arm in arm along Flirtation Walk and smooching at a place called Kissing Rock? Oh, Leavenworth. <laughs> <laughs> we all know, Paul, about the destruction caused by forest fires. But does anything good ever come out of a forest fire? Ever had roast venison? <laughs> Paul Lopez. Paul, you've got a secret. According to psychologists, if you're average, if you're average, will you probably tell it to a man or to a woman? Well, if I tell it to a man, he might hit me. Let's see how <laughs> Doris Day's Beverly Hills neighbors. Paul recently made Doris get rid of some things she was quite, quite fond of. What? Her musical hide a bed and three Korean acrobats. I don't know. <laughs> There's a new bra on the market that squeaks in various musical tones. <laughs> the hills are alive. <laughs> the major cause of itching in old folks? Oh, eating shredded wheat in bed. <laughs> <laughs> within two, within two, how many husbands have the three Gabor sisters had among them? You mean including our own? <laughs> <laughs> Raquel Welch recently stated, it's a carnival atmosphere, but I can understand its popularity. It's a batchy, sweaty, funky life, but I enjoyed it. What is it? Uh, a choir girl. <laughs> <laughs> Has there ever been a nine-pound goldfish? Yes, and it starred in the Japanese version of Jaws. <laughs> Scientists say that a small child will believe the story that the stork brought him easier than he will how it really happened. What do you mean, really happened? <laughs> <laughs> you are a gorilla's worst enemy. What are you? A discount furrier. <laughs> Can a moose remember anything? Just enough to have more moose. 
Yeah. According to Hugh Hefner, is inflation a big problem in the Playboy empire? Inflation? inflation? <laughs> Did you see Miss February? <laughs> According to research, who are the loneliest, the loneliest people around? Ah, uh, Chrysler dealers. <laughs> uh, according to the song, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. What did he see? Oh, it was awful. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Ranger Bob was dressed up like Joan Bennett. <laughs> With two hundred and fifty dollars in cash, what's so unusual about all the secretaries in Saudi Arabia? Uh, they don't take uh, shorthand or showers. Uh, oh, come on! Uh, Will anything bring tears to a monkey's eyes? Learning that Tarzan swings both ways. $600 for Vicky here. According to the food editor of the Dallas Morning News, what's the best reason for pounding meat? Oh, loneliness. <laughs> I'll try that again. According to the book, An Encyclopedia of Fairies, who's generally, who's generally better looking, a fairy or a pixie? Looks aren't everything. <laughs> uh, Who's generally better looking, according to this book called An Encyclopedia for Fairies? A fairy or a pixie? Better looking? Well... <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll go for the fairy. <laughs>